Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I have two of the most important compact SUVs right here, the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V. The RAV4 has been around for a while, but the Honda CR-V is all new for 2023. So which one do I like it better? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is really focus on things that matter to me, which is like a driving quality, the driving character, and also the manufacturing fit and finish and the overall quality of the two models. Something that you can't get from a brochure or website. Things like specification, pricing, and all that future stuff, you can find out for yourself. But what you cannot find out very easily is whether these things are well built and whether or not they drive differently against each other. So let me focus on those two things today and let you know which one I like better in terms of driving character and in terms of overall manufacturing quality. So let's get into it. Welcome back. So one of the most important things we have to figure out is whether or not this all new 2023 Honda CR-V is as well built as the Toyota RAV4. Now keep in mind that the RAV4 can be built in either Canadian factory, which is a Woodstock Ontario one, or it could also be built in Japan, although most of the ones that we get here in North America are built in the Canadian factory. This one, which is a RAV4 Prime, is the one that we own, and this one happens to be built in Japan. But the Honda CRV is also built in a couple of different factories, one in a Canadian factory in Alliston, Ontario, or it could also be built in their Ohio factory. This particular one is built in a Canadian factory. So let's take a look and see if the quality of the manufacturing is about the same or different between these two models. Now let's start off by doing the exterior quality comparison between the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4. Now I know what you're going to say, Dave, it's not fair to compare a Canadian built Honda CRV to Japan built RAV4 because um, why am I not comparing this against the Canadian built one? Well, in engineering, whenever you do a comparison, you always compare against the best of the best. That's called benchmarking. And because RAV4 that's built in Japan has the best overall quality in terms of both exterior and interior, I'm going to use this as a benchmark and compare against the Canadian built Honda CRV. Now, just as a side note, we actually do own the Canadian built RAV4 as well, the gasoline version. And I just looked at it yesterday. I don't have it beside me right now. Uh, but I do uh, know the measurement of that car as well. So we'll do a comparison of the Canadian built Honda CRV against the Japan built RAV4, but also a reference to the Canadian built RAV4 as well. So if you look at the, uh, the gap alignment here in terms of the hood against the front fender, uh, I measured it just earlier and it's about 3.8 millimeter here. Pretty consistent and very well aligned. Maybe just a tad off between here and here, but almost perfect and even the corners are done very well right here. So it's excellent quality, I give it a solid eight and a half out of 10. But if you look at the RAV4 uh, Prime here that we own, this is as good as it's ever going to get. Look at the gap, it's about three millimeter and it's so consistent that it's better than the Lexus LX600 that I was driving just uh, a few weeks ago and the panel alignment is almost perfect. This is the, again, Japan built RAV4. And if you look at the gap between the fender and the door, and again, between these two doors and over here, and even the rear, the panel alignment is perfect and looks like this whole thing is made from a single sheet of metal. Although I will say that the Honda CRV is very close and it's not too far off in terms of panel alignment and the gaps, it's almost perfect. It's a bit wider here than the RAV4, but not by much. And the alignment of the gaps and the seams are also very good. And same thing over here. And if you look at it like this, the panel alignment is almost as good. So if this is maybe eight and a half out of 10, this one is maybe nine or nine and a half out of 10, but it's pretty close. As a comparison, the Canadian belt RAV4 was almost identical to this one. It's not quite as good as this one. So I would say the Honda CRV is about the same quality as the Canadian belt RAV4 in terms of exterior quality. Now what about the paint finish? Right now the paint is a bit dirty on both cars, but when it was clean, I did the comparison and there's a little bit more orange peel in the Honda, which is typically the case with the Honda models compared to the Toyota models. And I know we're comparing blue to a white, but nevertheless, you can tell the surface finish and the quality overall by just looking through this way at, at an angle and by looking at an angle here as well. And once again, this one is tad better but not by much, maybe 5% difference in terms of better quality here. And once again, when I looked at the Canadian built RAV4 yesterday, uh, the paint quality, it's about the same as the Honda CRV. 
although I would say Honda does suffer from a little bit of orange peel, a bit more than what I find in the Toyota. So uh, in terms of paint, I give this 8 out of 10. This guy, 9 out of 10. Maybe the Canadian Belt RAV4, which is not here, 8.5 out of 10. So overall, the quality of the Honda CRV is almost identical to Canadian Belt RAV4, but not quite as good as the Japan Belt RAV4. So let's take a look at the inside now to see if there's any difference in terms of quality. Okay, so now I am inside the Japan Belt RAV4, and you can tell the quality of the plastic injection molding and the part fits are absolutely first class. Even this fake stitching looks almost perfect. It, you can hardly tell it's a fake stitching and the uh, quality of the surface is also really good there's no squeaks or rattle anywhere and all the parts fit really well uh, once again i apologize for the car being a bit dirty but uh, overall quality is almost perfect it does look outdated there's no question that this rav4 is more outdated than the honda crv but in terms of the quality for the interior Wow, it's, uh, you know, it's almost perfect. I give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. But for design and, and functionality, it's quite a bit behind the Honda CRV. Now let's take a look at the CRV to see if the quality is as good as this one. So now I'm inside the Honda CRV. And first of all, you can tell it's way more modern and beautifully designed compared to the RAV4. So that's the first thing you notice. But in terms of the quality of the interior, if I do a bit of a rattle test here, and if I look at it, I would say it's pretty close to the Japan Belt RAV4 and also uh, about the same as the Canadian Belt RAV4 that I was looking at it yesterday. You can tell that uh, the, the sort of the shininess of the plastic here and here is not quite the same as the way they do it in Japan because sometimes uh, there's too much, uh, too much shininess in the North American Belt one and the Japan one tend to have a really beautiful matte finish. But other than that, I haven't heard a single squeaks or rattles in this model. All the components feel really nice to the touch and uh, the components are aligned perfectly well and I don't see any kind of defects anywhere. So I gotta say that this is almost as good or maybe even as good as the Toyota RAV4. Solid nine out of 10 and it's basically the same as the Canadian Belt RAV4. The biggest difference obviously is that this is way more modern. The controls and everything is nicer and this will not look outdated a few years from now on. But the RAV4 is already beginning to look outdated in terms of interior. The seats I also find a little bit more comfortable and uh, all of the ergonomics are slightly better on this one. The only thing I wish is that uh, they give us a bigger screen for this at least as an option because uh, competitors like a Nissan and Hyundai all have larger screens and full digital um, instrumentation, which we don't get in the Honda. But I really want to focus on just the uh, quality of the exterior and interior and the driving character uh, for today's comparison, not so much get into the trims and features and options, all that stuff which you can find out from the website and other videos and other media. So uh, stuff that uh, it's hard to figure out is the driving character and the quality. And those are the two things I'm gonna focus on. So let's take uh, both of these out for a quick drive and uh, figure out how they differ in terms of driving character. So first let's take the uh, RAV4 out for a quick drive before I hop into the Honda CRV. This is the one that we own. And of course this is the RAV4 Prime, the plug-in hybrid. So I know it's not a, a fair comparison simply because this drives in fully electric mode most of the time as long as you have the battery topped up. And in this regard, it's obviously the quietest uh, compact SUV out there because uh, when you drive the fully electric um, car like this, well, there's no engine sound. So it's absolutely perfectly quiet. But it is beginning to show its age a bit because the RAV4 has been around for a while. And in terms of overall refinement and quality for the driving part anyway, it's probably not quite as good as a Honda CRV, which is all new. Now, I did drive the uh, RAV4 uh, gasoline version yesterday as well, and you might be uh, surprised to find out that there is a little bit of difference in terms of driving character. I don't mean about the powertrain, but even in terms of steering feel. Surprisingly, the RAV4 Prime has a slightly heavier steering than the RAV4 in the gasoline version, uh, which has a very light steering. And I think that's because they did promise to make the RAV4 Prime the sportiest of all RAV4s. And they obviously calibrated the steering to be a slightly heavier and therefore has a better feel. Having said that, it is still pretty loose. And uh, I'll hop into the Honda CRV in a minute and I'll tell you more about that. Uh, but definitely the Honda CRV has overall a little bit more agile feel and a slightly better uh, driving experience 
and I don't mean to compare about the powertrain because that's a gasoline and this is a plug-in hybrid so that's a big difference right there but I'm just talking about the steering feel and the steering character uh, the brakings are actually pretty similar between two models and perhaps Honda has a slightly better uh, braking feel as well uh, but they're actually both pretty similar now if you can actually get the prime version of the RAV4 which is almost impossible to get this is definitely the one to get among all of the RAV4 because I've driven and owned uh, the gasoline version, the hybrid version, and now the plug-in hybrid versions. And clearly this is the most uh, advantageous one for not just fuel efficiency reasons, because it doesn't use any fuel, but just because it drives a bit sportier than the other RAV4. So I just finished driving the Toyota RAV4, and I know that one is a prime, so it drives in a fully electric mode, but I did drive the gasoline version of the RAV4 yesterday as well. So this is kind of a, almost a three-way comparison and it's probably not fair to compare this one to the plug-in hybrid because this one is a fully uh, gasoline version and not even a hybrid. But in terms of the driving character, and I mean things like the handling, the ride, and just the overall feel on the road, uh, I have to admit the Honda CRV is definitely a little bit better than the RAV4. They're remarkably similar, and with the exception of the plug-in hybrid RAV4 Prime, because that one is extremely quiet since the engine doesn't even come on, as long as you have the uh, battery fully charged or at least partly charged. Um, but in terms of the handling, in terms of how you get the feedback from the road, the Honda CRV feels a little bit more mature, it's a little bit more refined and smoother, but not necessarily more fun to drive. I would say the, the quickness of the steering and the ability for the Honda CRV to take the corners and turns are about the same among all three models, the two RAV4 that I drove and this one. And there's not much difference, maybe really the, the minor difference is just in terms of the quality of the tires. Uh, and the RAV4 has maybe a little bit more of a rougher feel to it. But the Honda CRV overall is definitely a little smoother and more refined. But I will also say that the Honda CRV has a slightly faster steering feel and a little bit more of a sharper feel overall. So uh, even though they're very close together, I will give a slight nod to the CRV for um, a better overall experience on the road. Uh, in terms of quietness, I would just give a nod to the RAV4 Prime just because that one drives in fully electric mode and obviously it's not a fair comparison, but if you do have to do a comparison, then definitely plug-in hybrids are always uh, smoother and has the best overall experience for passengers and in terms of comfort just because it's so quiet. Now in terms of engine in this new CRV, it's adequate and is completely fine for everyday driving, but definitely it's a bit weak. I think the RAV4 that I drove yesterday has a slightly better acceleration and obviously the RAV4 Prime has a substantially better feel just because it drives in electric mode and it has almost infinite torque from the beginning. Now you guys probably know that most of us don't like the CVT transmission but it functions well in this particular model. It's smooth and refined and it just doesn't provide the same kind of a sporty feel in a normal transmission but it's more than adequate. So in terms of my overall conclusion for the driving portion of the Honda CRV versus the RAV4, I would say if you want it uh, a very smooth and a quiet and refined ride and a feel, uh, the Honda CRV is definitely a little bit better than the RAV4 in general, but the RAV4 Prime is the quietest of all just because it's the fully electric version. Uh, in terms of the handling, the Honda CRV is also slightly better, but there's not as much difference as you think, and perhaps that is intentional since the RAV4 is the best selling compact SUV. Maybe Honda wanted to make sure that they mimic or come as close as possible to the RAV4 in terms of the feeling. So if you're asking me which one would I prefer in terms of ownership, well, I would still say that the RAV4 Prime, because it's a plug-in hybrid, provides the best overall feel because of the fact that you can drive in fully electric mode and it, because of that it's hard to beat its overall acceleration and the quietness. But if I'm comparing the gasoline versions of the RAV4 to the Honda CRV, then the CRV is definitely better. It drives smoother, it's a bit quieter and it has a slightly more agile steering feel and aside from that it's substantially more up-to-date and it's also quite a bit roomier in terms of the practicality side of things. So in terms of comparing the gasoline versions of the two models, yes, the Honda CRV is a better model. 
the Honda CRV is really hard to beat in terms of quality, in terms of overall value. And for a gasoline version, anyway, it's probably the best compact SUV out there. But at the end of the day, it's hard to beat the plug-in hybrid version. So I really hope that maybe at some point, Honda will consider producing a uh, plug-in hybrid version of the Honda CRV because then we have a, an actual real competitor to RAV4 Prime. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful. I didn't want to get into a lot of details about the features and options and how much space there is because you can get that from many other places. Today, I just really wanted to focus on the manufacturing quality outside, inside, and also to um, look at the driving character as a primary uh, decision-making process because those two things are most important to me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm signing off for now.